Inflation is hitting people hard right now. In some cases, not just the prices people are paying at the store, it's their actual take-home pay that's suffering. Truck drivers are facing tough decisions as they face uncertain paychecks. Sean Moody has the LEX 18 big story at 11. Hey, you know, there can be a whole lot of freedom when you're an independent truck driver. You can figure out your own schedule, your own routes, but of course that also comes with a lot of responsibilities that lie solely on your shoulders. Now with the economy as volatile as it's been, things are getting difficult. If you've got a sense of adventure, trucker Nathan Patrick says there is no career like it. There is no job on the face of this planet, in my opinion, that suits me any better. I mean, it's one of those things once it gets in your blood, that's it. That right there is the view that I see about 70 hours a week. He's based out of Moorhead and he's been driving about four years, seeing all corners of the country, but he worries his dream job could hit the brakes. Like getting a shot at the doctor. We're all just sitting there waiting for the hurt. Fuel prices have spiked and Patrick says the rates truckers get paid for these trips haven't kept up with inflation. You know, you've done 2,500 miles this week. Normally that'd make me 10, $11,000. Now it's making me five, four, five. So those margins are getting really thin. If something bad happened, like hitting a deer or getting hit by somebody else, that could be the thing that brings everything to a halt. It'll be that, that one five second period of time that's probably gonna make my dreams disappear. The, the future that I hope to plan for my kids disappear. And that's not all he's concerned about. I guess your biggest fear is that price is going, fuel price is going to keep on going up and I'm going to wind up losing everything. Second biggest fear is that we haven't even seen what the inflation really looks like yet. That's because, again, he said those rates that get paid haven't gone up. If they do, that's great for the drivers, but it could have bigger ramifications. What's bacon going to look like when the cost of hauling it starts getting factored in on the shelf? Patrick's found little ways to trim costs. Uh, this little thing right here saves me $50 a day, as long as it's cool enough for me to sleep. He also tries to avoid routes with a lot of elevation gain. He's just hoping there's a light coming soon that'll keep this dream alive for him and any future truckers down the road. Everyone, everyone that I see is like, man, you know, I'm tired of living paycheck, paycheck. Son, go get your CDLs and go on the adventure of your lifetime. Patrick said that the vast majority of drivers out there are like him, just one bad event away from having to leave the job. He says it's a pretty delicate situation, and he's hoping, like, of course, we all do, that things turn around soon. Nancy, Larry, back to you. Okay.